And it comes down to where they get their data, which the best explanation I have gotten is they get it from essentially, they get these, they get this anon- like anonymized data from Chrome extensions. And then they essentially have a data science team just expand on that. And when I actually talked with one of these vendors, they offered me, I kid you not, one CSV poll each month for 100K a year. And they (laughs) did not have, they could not explain their methodologies in a satisfactory way. I'm a longtime software engineer. And what they said was just kind of like BS. So here's how we think about it. There's, There's three different ways to do this. The first way, and a lot of people do this, believe it or not, they just guess, right? So they basically have a perplexity chat GPT prompt. They say, essentially, what are the bottom, bottom of funnel keywords for this company? They expand those a little bit. So that's just a total guess. That's what they use for prompts. The next best, and this is what we do, is we integrate with your Google Analytics in your Google Search Console, and we're seeing essentially what is converting for your company historically, so in Google. So, right, chat. GPT hasn't told us what people are searching and in what volume like Google did. And so right now we're leaning on Google as a proxy for what people are actually searching. 